What is shaken, Internet? Welcome back to Salts of the Earth Stone with Salts. Playing some arena. Hoorah. Uh, last we left, I was uh, playing my druid. Got two wins, zero losses so far. Lots of one-off cards in this deck that I'm looking at over again. We do have a couple good ones. I have Questing Adventure. Definitely have Ragnaros. That's pretty awesome. A couple big Boulder Fists. Uh, got a Starfire, Druid of the Claw. Got quite a bit of stuff here. Um, a lot of stuff to drop on too as well. We do have that Ancient Watcher play with the Mark of the Wild and Power of the Wild. Yeah, one or the other. I don't remember. I think we have some other things down here. It doesn't matter. Let's get back into it and let's start up a game. Get back into arena. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I did. I called it. Used to call it. Um, used to call this series. What did I call it? Arena with salts. Now we're changing it up. It's called Salts of the Earth. That's just a more clever title, I guess, and works better with YouTube or something. I don't know. It works fine. We'll just stick with it. I like Salts of the Earth Stone. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So. I'm liking the Druid deck so far. I still have not pulled out Ragnaros on either of the games that we played yet. I want to pull out Ragnaros just to bust somebody in the face. I think Ragnaros is a little overtuned, a little too strong for 8-8 eight, eight that can't attack but does 8 damage every turn no matter what anyway. So we'll see. We'll see what we get. Cheater McCheaterson. Going up against Rexar on Striker. That's, that name sounds familiar. I don't know why that name sounds familiar. I don't like that. I don't like familiar names. That means they're good, because I can remember them. Let's drop the Druid of the Claw. We got um, this for the Panther. We got this. Good enough. Lots of lots of turn two plays. There you go. Even better. So let's greet them. My greetings. Okay, so turn one looks like we have nothing so far. There's a Dark Iron Dwarf, so nothing now. I could coin into a Panther or coin into a River Crocolisk. Um, I don't think that's the right play, so let's go ahead and just continue on. Turn two, I can drop the Crocolisk or the Panther, depending on my needs. and Or I can even... Uh, there you go. So I think the Crocolisk is going to be better here. Yeah... Hmm. Might be better to have that panther out. Kind of thinking I should get the panther because then he has to trade it. So now it's it's a pretty good trade for him either way. Or he can do three damage directly to me. Or he can arcane shot it if he got that. Which is going to really suck. Okay, there's a flesh eating ghoul. That's perfect for him. There you go. Nice trade, and it becomes a 4-3. Good trade, good trade. So, turn 3, I can... I can put Chillwind Yeti out, which would kill it. I can Savage Roar, which will put me at 2, which really is not very useful here. Um, I almost want to coin into Chillwind Yeti. It's a pretty good option. It's probably the best option I've got. I could put this out and then coin into making it a 4-5 with taunt. I kind of like that option, actually. There we go. So now I've got a 4-5 with taunt. Now if I pull the Ancient Watcher, I'm going to be really sad. But this trades pretty well with that, and if he pulls out something else, it will probably trade with that as well. Probably won't have anything to deal with the 4-5 on turn 4. He could, could pull something like a Chill Wind Yeti out. Next turn, I can give it a buff, so if he decides not to trade it, trade out his uh, Flesh Eating Ghoul here, I can buff it up and do a ton of damage to him. I so far, neither of us have done any damage to each other, which is kind of nice. I'll accept that. If he doesn't trade it, I might want to save... I might want to put the Chillwind Yeti out and then the Dark Iron Dwarf next turn, or the turn following that. That way I have an even stronger Chillwind Yeti. Don't know if that's really the best play or not. But either way, right now I have a slight board a advantage. There's a Questing Adventure. I want to kill that thing right now. He's going to Arcane Shot it. Then he's going to trade it for the Ghoul. There you go. So now I want to kill that thing right now if I can. Can I kill it right now? Absolutely not. That really sucks. I do have this, so even if he buffs it up, I can kill it two turns from now, but that's not enough. I'm going to need a stronger thing. I need to get this Chillwind Yeti out. The Chillwind Yeti is better, I think, at this moment. So let's get the Chillwind Yeti out. 
Chilwin Yeti trades pretty good. He has to play two cards, which I'm sure he can. He does have four cards in his hand. And then he can kill it. Um, I can hold off just a little bit. I can actually Savage Roar if I really need it. Or I can do one damage with just my hero power. So I have the possibility. Ragnos is in my hand, so I'm ready to go for it. That's not a very smart move. What is he doing? Why did he do that? I'll put it on your tab. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Why would you do that? Oh, there you go. So now I can charge into this guy so I can remove the Ancient Brewmaster, which is kind of what I want to do. I hate trading card for card, but I don't want to have that Ancient Brewmaster out. Oh, I could make it a 4-6 taunt. So I can have a 4-6 taunt and just trade minions here, which I kind of like. And then I can make it a 6-6 with that. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus 2 health and taunt. Trade those out. There we go. So now I've got a 4-6 taunt on the board. If he plays the questing adventurer, I'm going to be able to kill it pretty fast. Okay, there's the boulder fist ogre. Hmm. What can I do here? I can take 6 damage, which is not something I want to do. He's going to have to charge into it anyway next turn, and then I'll be able to kill it with a starfire. So why not dark iron dwarf that guy? and then do 6 damage directly to his face. Um, and 7 damage even with the hero power, that's not a bad idea. So I'm doing damage directly to him. So now, it's gonna he's gonna bring it down to 1. And I'm be easily be able to trade it for pretty much anything. I'll put the iron for a grizzly out next turn if I can. I can Savage Roar to do a whole bunch of damage if he doesn't trade anything, but I know he's going to trade something here. He's probably going to trade the Boulder Fist Ogre directly. That's a pretty smart move. He doesn't have any good removal here. He can he can Explosive Shot something, but that's really not going to do anything for him. Okay, so now he could pretty he could Dark Skill Healer, which would bring that up to 3, which I still can trade for. Deal five damage draw a card. I could deal five damage directly to him. I really want to hold off until I get Ragnaros out. But next turn, I really want to play. I really want to play the Iron for Grizzly. Okay, so what does this do? That gets me down to 26. Okay, so now I need to start trading. What do I get? Okay, so there's a there's an awesome little death rattle there. I kind of want to trade this. And then Iron Fur Grizzly. So I can do both of those. And Savage Roar, even. Hmm. Unfortunately, it really doesn't help me in that point. So let's go ahead and put the Leper Gnome out. Put the Iron Fur Grizzly out. That's four. Um, armor up. I can kill this with my... Uh, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to just kill it with my hero. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take 6 damage, which I'm not too happy about, but now I have a big advantage on the board. He can't break through this turn, and next turn I have Rag. I have Ragnaros to pop that. At the end of my turn, I'm going to be dealing 8 damage to a random enemy. If I can clear the board, then I can use Ragnaros to do 8 damage to him. That's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, so I can still drop Ragnaros. Okay, what do I do here? Do I drop Ragnaros, or do I Starfire? I can Starfire, which kills this thing now, and I draw a card. Kind of want to do that. I know I want to get Ragnaros out, but I really, really need... So now we're even health. He's got two a 2-2 two -two minion out. I've got Ragnaros in my hand. I might regret putting not putting Ragnaros out there, but unfortunately there's just too many targets. Okay, he does two damage to me. That's okay so far. Oh, there's Onyxia. That really sucks. He's got a legendary now. So now he can trade Ragnaros immediately, which is just awful. Awful. I cannot clear the board fast enough now. Now I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I can restore three health. I can summon some boars. He's going to kill me next turn, isn't he? He's got 10. He's got 15. 
16, 17 damage on the field right now. My eyes are open. I've got to heal myself. Then I want to put this down. Then I want to clean one of those whelps away. Get rid of one of those whelps right now. Alright, so next turn, I can kill another whelp with my hero power and drop Ragnaros. This really is just awful. It's just a terrible place for me to be in. If I can clear all the whelps, then I can put Ragnaros down, and hopefully I can kill Anixia with Ragnaros. That's pretty much my only chance. I can Savage Roar next turn and try to kill him, you know, with a, with a potential Ragnaros play. Don't know if that's going to be useful or not, though. I wonder. This is this is just very, very shoddy. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, so he just pulled out that. It's got another card. Is it going to do two damage to me? Is it going to do five damage to everything on the board? What's going to happen? Am I dead? So yeah, he definitely wants to do that. I'm not dead yet. But I'm definitely not far off. I want him to just start clearing the board with this whelps. I want to use him to use all the whelps. Then I can drop Ragnaros. Then I can hero up and kill any remaining whelps. And it's just like, I've got to be super careful here because he's going to kill me next turn. Okay, so there's one whelp down. What is he doing now? Do two damage. Okay, so now he's going to trade it for that 2-2 two -two probably. Yep, there's the 2-2. Two -two. Now what, he's going to trade just straight up all the whelps? Yep. Okay. So now I'm pretty much dead. My only choice is that if I can put Ragnaros out and it kills this, I, I can survive. If I can't, I'm dead. I'm dead next turn. He's got 10 damage right here, 12 damage right there. I can armor up, but that still isn't going to do anything. So I've got to drop Ragnaros and hope for the best. I literally have to hope that it kills Anixium. That's my only chance. Please, 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 please. Uh, I lose. Oh, that's actually still helpful. So he can trade Onyxia for Ragnaros here. Can he kill me? He can do 10 damage to me. I have 12 HP. He could trade it right now. Right now. And that'd be fine. Because I'm going to be doing 8 damage next turn to something. Man, I, I almost wish I had put Ragnaros out before now. He wouldn't have been able to trade it all the way through. Probably my misplay, I was thinking that I would hold Ragnaros off, and I don't know why. There was no really reason to hold Ragnaros off. I thought he might explosive shot it or something crazy, but either way. Hmm. Now I'm in a bad spot. Now he doesn't know if to trade or not. I'm thinking he's going to trade. He's not going to trade. Okay, so I'm dead next turn. Unless he's got an arcane shot in his hand, then I'm dead. Anyway. My eyes okay, so he just healed himself. I'm I'm dead next turn no matter what I do. You add just his minion spell damage. I think you did that wrong, but it doesn't really matter because I'm dead. Okay, so I can kill that. I can armor up. I have to pray that it hits a Nixium. Even then, he can kill me. No matter what I do, he can kill me. I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. Hmm. Uh, I have to try and do one damage. Because I have to draw a card. No matter if I don't do it, if I do kill this, yes, I'd like to kill that, but I'm not gonna do any it's not gonna do anything for me. That's not a valid target. What do I get? Well, that's not enough. I'm dead. Good game. Don't mess for the wilds. Well played. I'm. I, I failed miserably at that. Onyxia beat me. He beat me to it. <laughs> Please attack, or I'm gonna concede. Okay, I'll just concede. If he's just gonna sit around, I hate. I hate when they wait. It's like you've got it. You've got the game one. Attack and win. If you're not gonna attack and win, oh well. So I finally got to pull out Ragnaros, but it didn't matter because Anixia beat Ragnaros because he got his out earlier, which is my fault. I should have been able to pull out Ragnaros sooner. I don't think it would have mattered because then I would have been hitting all of his whelps with Ragnaros. Mm. So it's kind of meh. But either way, let's go ahead and start another game. Get right back into it. That sucks. I feel bad about that. I feel dirty. I feel dirty. I pulled out Ragnaros too late, and it's my fault.
Honestly, though, Anixia probably beats Ragnaros in all cases because if he pulled all those 1-1s, one not only could they do damage to Ragnaros, but they also act as targets. So I would have just been dying, slowly but sure, surely. Bob Kotor. Bob Kotor the Druid. Okay. Yep, nature will rise against you. Better be watch. Don't need this. Don't need this. Let's go. What do we get? What do we get? A rafter and a mark of nature. Okay. Plus four health and taunt. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and greet him. My greetings. My greetings. My greetings. Oh, nice. I like it when people do this. He's going to try and rush me down. I'm okay with taking two damage at the beginning. Not exactly. I mean, not, I don't want to take two damage at the beginning. Oh, questing adventurer comes out. I'm going to drop the raptor next turn. And then I'm not really sure. I might want to hold off. I, you know, I want to hold off the questing adventurer because he's just going to kill it really fast if I don't. So yeah, he's gonna. He's got nothing to play, which is perfect. This is great. So I'm gonna pull out the raptor next turn. Hold off on the coin because the coin will buff that um, questing adventurer even faster. Let's go ahead and drop the drop the raptor and go. So now, what is he gonna do to respond to this? He could wrath it, pretty pretty handily. Um, I don't know what else he could do. He's got three mana. I'm assuming he's gonna drop a minion at this point. Oh, wild growth. All right. He could claw. Oh no, he doesn't have another claw. Okay, so let's see. What do we have as options here? I don't want a questing adventurer just yet because that's just a little too early for my taste. But he doesn't have anything on the field. I don't know. I hate. I hate doing that. I just hate doing that. Uh, I kind of want to bust this out. Yeah, let's let's put the the divine shield out. It's gonna be doing lots of damage, which is perfect. That's what we want to see. I kind of want to hold this off for the questing adventurer. Make the questing adventurer taunt and make it huge. I have to do wait until turn five to do that, though. What we Ooh, and there we go. It's a good play. It's a good play. Okay, so I can kill it right now. I can do one damage and draw a card, and then trade it for the raptor, and then do three damage to him. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Kind of thinking that's the play. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's do that, I guess. Or I can put I can't put the questing adventure down. What am I thinking? Let's do one damage and draw a card. So we get a little card draw out of it. Okay, there's a river crocolisk. I can play that instead of do my hero power. Trade that out. Boom. Zero damage to that. Trade that. And then drop a crocolisk. There we go. So next turn I can drop the questing adventure, I can drop this and I can't mark advent mark uh, yes I can, yes I can. I have five. Wow, he's got a lot of mana now. Got a huge advantage. Alright, so he's gonna take two damage on that. No big deal. Ooh, and a Murloc Tide Hunter. Okay. Let's see, what can I kill this turn? There's a Starfall. That's not too bad. I can trade that pretty handily. I can trade this pretty handily. So two mana gives me that. Then... I can drop the taunt. Yeah, let's drop the taunt. For the wild. Trade that out. There we go. Okay, I'm in a decent spot. This turn, next turn, I have the questing adventurer, mark of nature, or I have this, or I can questing adventurer coin into Chillwind Yeti. That would be okay. I want him. I want him to wrath. I definitely want him to wrath. Wrath that bad boy. Okay, another claw maybe. Ooh, a swipe. Not too bad. So now he's gonna trade that. Okay. Not a huge fan of how he's playing. Okay, so now he's gonna drop a panther. And that's fine. Okay, so I have six mana, seven with the coin. What do I want to do here? 
I get Starfall. Not a fan of that. I can Chillwind Yeti. I kind of want a questing adventurer. Make it a... Okay, so if I play this, then I play the coin. Ah, but I don't want to play the coin. Dang it. Okay, so let's chill Wind Yeti. Let's armor up. And let's hit him. Alright, so next turn, I can Questing Adventure as a 2-2. Coin him to make it a 3-3. Then, coin, or then use this to either give that a huge buff or something else a huge buff. What is he doing now? Okay, so now he's got... Oh, nice. Well played. Alright, so now I need to Starfall. I absolutely need to Starfall. Starfall is going to cost 5 mana. I can trade that for 5 health afterwards. Well, 4 health. Oh, 3 health. That's not bad. That's not a bad trade, actually. Alright, so Questing Adventure is absolutely coming out next turn. And I'm going to buff him up. Buff him up hard. So I'm going to have 8 mana, 9 with the coin. What is this? Wind Fury Harpy. Okay. And there we go. And there's a Mark of the Wild. Alright, so I have 9 mana with the coin. I kind of want to play all of these. I'm going to Mark of the Wild... I want to make my questing adventure just absolutely ginormous. Which is probably not the smart play to do, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and give him plus four in taunt or plus five attack. Let's just make him huge. Let's make him huge. I have an 8-12 on the field. Feel free. Attack it. Give me a quest. Oh, now he pulls out his own questing adventure. <laughs> okay, so he's absolutely going to kill that, which is not too good for him. Okay, so I'm in a decent spot. He has no cards in his hands. I have Savage Roar. Unfortunately... This is still not a great trade. Is he gonna is he gonna trade that? I mean, I'm gonna kill it next turn. It's guaranteed to die. It is dead. Oh, and I can re heal it up. Awesome. Awesome. I think it's dead. I'm gonna go ahead and attack you. Boom. Next turn he's dead. With my Savage Roar, he's dead unless he can wipe the board. Unless he has a Starfall, I win. Even a Starfall is not going to kill a 10-9. Questing Adventure, MVP of this game, 100%. Yep, you, you can't do that, buddy. But, yeah, okay, well played. Well played. Yeah, he's dead next turn. I'm just going to Savage Roar and kill him. He thinks that he's not dead, but he's dead. He has 20 health right now. I have 10, uh, 17 damage right now. But here comes the Savage Roar. And there it is. Boom. Win the game. Sorry, Bob Kortor. Excellent. So he's super buffed up. Um, questing Adventurer saved me there. And then, uh, again, I didn't even see Rag. It's almost like if I don't see Ragnaros, I'm going to win these games. If I do, then I'm going to have trouble. <laughs> so maybe I need to stop thinking about it so much. Let's play another one. Let's get back into it. Feeling good. Enjoying this. Enjoying the Druid deck. The only problem with Druid is that you don't have generally a lot of big removal. If they have a silence, then my questing adventurer is worthless. And oh no, a mage. Here comes the polymorph on Ragnaros or something else. So let's drop the Starfall, let's drop the Dark Iron Dwarf and see if we can get something earlier on. So I've got the Raptor for turn two, I've got a Silence, and I've got the four, uh, the two, one, two, four. That's not ideal, but oh, there it's Taunt. I'll take that. I'll play that anytime. 
So he can't really do anything on turn one. He could mirror image, he could arcane missiles. Or he can just pass the turn back to me. Awesome. That's what I'd like to see. Toss that more boy out. There we go. He can arcane explosion, but he's gonna need to um he's only gonna do one damage there, so that's not really gonna help him. I don't want to put too much junk out because then he can arcane explosion, but next turn I can bump up the um, attack on one of these guys severely. Let's see, what does he have? What does he have? He's going to waste the coin? That's not a coin, that's whatever he drew. The coin, I think, is the fifth card. Okay, so there you go. So I can give it plus two? Or I can give it plus four health and taunt. Or I can give this guy plus four attack. I kind of want to give this guy plus four attack. Let's go ahead and give him plus four attack. And just start busting the mage down super fast. Well played. So now he could arcane explosion, but then he's only got one mana left. He could coin into a fire blast afterwards, though. If he has an arcane explosion, uh, he will use the coin. That's a very smart play. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, any other spells that he could really turn in, turn it into. Mm. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. I'm still going to do 5 damage next turn. As a mage, he generally is not going to have much healing available. Okay, so there he goes. He's going to coin into something. Someday I'll be just like you. Okay. Okay, now what can I do? I can do that, which is pretty terrible against this. I can silence that, or I can give him plus two, plus two, and I can attack for one. Do I want to kill that? Or do I want to do four damage directly to him? I kind of want to do four damage directly to him. Yeah, I took three there, but I, I want to kill that Sorcerer's Apprentice next turn, if, I, if at all possible. So this this Goldshire Footman is, like, ridiculous. Right, so he's going to do that in Fire Blast, which is okay, because he still has a um, huge health disadvantage now. And, ooh, a secret. I forgot Mage Secrets only cost two. Dang it. Okay, so that could be a Mirror Entity. Alright, I could do this, and he's going to get a 2-4, but he's not going to get the battle cry, so let's go ahead and do that and see what he get. Is it a mirror entity? It is not. Awesome. So next turn, I'm going to check it for a vaporize, check this guy out and see if he can do that. Actually, he's going to fire blast it, so never mind. It could be um, armor, ice armor. Oh, sorry, hit the microphone. So it could be the ice armor, it could be counter spell. It could be Mirror Entity. So yeah, there's that. What you gonna play? What you gonna play, dude? You got three mana. So it could be Vaporize, Ice Armor, um, Ice Block, or Counterspell. Those are the those are the three that are that are left on that secret potential secret. Yeah, so he's gonna Fire Blast. I don't know what else he had in his hand that he wanted to try and play could be a coin blast. Okay, so I could abuse a sergeant. Let's see, what can we do here? I can wrath, I can abuse a sergeant. I kind of want to wrath and see if that um, if that's a counter spell. Because that's not a decent, I'm okay with him. Counter spell, there it is. There it is, counter spell. Okay, so that helps me out a little bit. I could give him plus two attack and kill that. I'm kind of okay with that. Let's go ahead and do four damage. Armor up, and I'm going to go ahead and do four damage as well. So now, this thing is not a big threat. Uh, if he attacks either of these, he will he'd take him down to one, and then I can kill him with my hero power next turn. Uh, he can fire blast my abusive sergeant, which is fine. That's what I expect. One more turn. And then I'm going to put Ragnaros down. And I'm not going to wait too long. I want to get Ragnaros down as soon as possible. Right now I have nothing else in my hand, so it's perfectly fine. He's really low, so Ragnaros could kill him in one turn. Unfortunately, he has six mana, so I don't know what he's going to do. Flame Strike? Flame Strike would be awful. 
Um, Frostbolt. I'm assuming he probably has a Frostbolt. That was a three mana thing that he was thinking about. He could Frostbolt this, bring it down to one, and then Arcane Explosion. That would be perfect if he had those cards. Don't think he does, otherwise he'd probably already play them. I'm not sure what he's thinking about. He's definitely thinking about something. The gates are open. Lord of the Arena. That's really kind of sucky. Okay. So I could silence that. I almost want to. I almost want to silence. And then give plus one, plus one to everything. And then attack for three. Your magic shall not save you. Or do I want to do this? I'll make it a 3 2. Yeah. Hey, let's make it a 3 2. Next turn, I'm playing Ragnaros. Hands down, I'm playing Ragnaros. If I can get him down, which if he can't clear the board right now, which he could with a Flame Strike, a Flame Strike would clear out three cards, when right now it would be a ter pretty good time. Yes, they're not all super high health, but. Here's a flame strike. I'm waiting for it. But they they're all pretty decent. I wonder. Come on, play your flame strike, William James. That's so that's such a plain name. Who uses William James as a name? What a silly name. I'm going to cross my fingers cuz next if he if he does not if he goes for me. Okay. So right now he could go for me. He's going to fireball. Okay, so he fireballed that. He's going to kill this. I could trade this out. Oh, questing adventurer. Too little, too late, buddy. I'm absolutely going to trade this out. Then I'm placing yeah. Ragnaros. Oh, Done. Done. Please, please. Not quite what I'm thinking, but okay. So he's dead in... He's actually dead next turn if he can't play something. If he plays a minion, then... He wants. He probably should want to flood, flood the board with minions right now, uh, and then I hopefully get like a starfall and just kill everything. That would be awesome. That would be the best thing in the world. He could polymorph it, what which would be really sad. But then at least I can attack him for one. Man, this guy takes for a long time to consider. Okay, so yeah, there you go. He's gonna start flooding the board, which is the smart thing to do. Not sure what he's going to do here. He's got four mana left. What is he doing? Okay, Violet Teacher. So there's the there's the flooding of the board. Okay, so there's Ancient Watcher. I'm absolutely going to start playing everything I have because I want to rush him down, and I'm very close to being able to rush him down right now. Let's go ahead and kill that. I'll take two. No big deal. What does he do? Boom! Yes! Yes! If he can't do one, a taunt, I win. He cannot kill everything on the board right now. I have a Questing Adventure, a Ragnaros, and an Ancient Watcher. Yes, the Ancient Watcher cannot attack. But, that could change. <laughs> he could, I could turn him into a taunt next next turn if I get the right cards. What if he cannot taunt, I can kill him with my hero power. Let the pain speak to me. And he's going to fire blast it. Yeah, he wants to fire blast it because he wants any possibility, but I think he's dead. So there's the Frostbolt. You're still dead, buddy. I have a hero power that does one. Yep, you're still dead. I am ready to learn. Quest failed. Quest failed. Yeah, I, I think he's dead, which is well played. Well played. Boom. Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Ragnaros. So Ragnaros wins it. Questing Adventure is pretty good. I, I gotta say, the Questing Adventure definitely held his own there. I think I have time for one more game, because that was a quick one, and I'm, I'm really enjoying myself here. So four wins, one loss so far. I'm sure we're gonna probably lose the next two, like normal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play one more. I got a good feeling, guys. I got a good feeling. We got a, we got a strong deck here. The buffs working with the uh, questing adventure is pretty awesome. Make a super high high level. Okay, so there's another hunter. I hate hunters, especially if they have the right cards. I'm gonna hold on to that questing adventure. 
dang it. I didn't I want to go second because I want that coin play. Drop the spellbreaker, don't need it. So there's a mark of nature. Right now it's not a good thing. I'm not in a good spot. Soul of the forest. I didn't even realize I got that card. Give your minion a death rattle. That'll actually buff him up. Unfortunately, still doesn't help me. Okay. So I got a wrath out. Only does damage to minions, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and armor up since there's absolutely nothing else I can do. Trade that out. He can hit me with his steady shot, which would do tam two damage and just even out the health. Next turn, I've got a taunt or the questing adventurer. If he plays something, here's a coin. What's he playing? Animal companion. Oh. And there's Leok. Okay, so there's Leok. And there's uh, Ragnaros for me. Absolutely going to drop the taunt. So there we go. The taunt's down. I can kill him with my hero power. If necessary. What is he doing? What's he doing now? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. He can't kill me. That's terrible, actually. Okay, so I can actually... So for two mana, I can Wrath this, then I can attack there, then I can hit that. Actually, I kind of like doing doing the Wrath for one damage and then attacking there. Maybe not be the perfect trade of all time, but I'm I'm happy with it. I'm okay with it. So he can trade out Leok if he wants, which isn't a terrible thing, but it does give uh, everything else plus one attack. So, oh, nice. So that's going to cost three mana. I need to remember that. Three mana for a 2-4 with plus one attack. That kind of sucks. Okay, so what do we have now? I have five mana. I could play Questing Adventurer, then I could play Scarlet Crusader. If he has thing, one thing that can do one damage, then that's pretty much useless to me. Or that means I'm I'm pretty much uh, going to waste my Questing Adventurer, and I really don't want to waste my Questing Adventurer. I want to hold on to next turn so I can give give it the buff. So in that case, let's go ahead and taunt the, drop the Divine, Divine Shield. Armor up. And start hitting the Hunter in the face. Trying to bring his health down. Right now I'm at 30, he's at 25. He's got a bigger minion out than me though. So I'm kind of I'm kind of not in a good shape here. I'm actually not in a good spot. What is this? Silence. Okay. I guess. Okay. Not bad. And now he can attack it. Or he can do that. Alright. <laughs> okay, so for one mana I can drop that. Oh man, why do all these good cards? Okay, so let's go ahead and drop. Let's go start dropping minions. I want to start dropping minions at this point. Don't let's drop this bad boy. Drop that. Go ahead and armor up. I'm gonna kill the owl because I don't want it around. Join or die. There you go. So now I've got a ton of minions on the field. Um, he's he can easily trade this. If he's got an arcane shot, he can kill it, but. Um, he, uh, that's not a, an ideal arcane shot target. Ah, oh, that sucks. So there you go. He's probably going to do five damage directly to me now. Yep, there you go. Okay. Seven mana. What do I start pulling out now? I could put out Questing Adventurer, then Soul of the Forest, which I kind of like, and then start trading minions like nobody's business. Give me a quest. Now I trade these two and this one. Suck steel Alright. So unfortunately all of his beasts have charged for at least one more turn. 
Your magic shall so there's a silence, me. okay. That just turns it into a 2-2, two -two. I'm fine with that. Okay, there comes the Leoc out again. Now what he's doing? So he's going to rush me down? Nope, okay, so he's going to trade that. That's really stupid because you can't attack with Leoc now. That was a big fail on his part. I think it's time for Ragnaros. I absolutely think it's time for Ragnaros. I'm going to go ahead and trade this. Uh, I'll trade two of these. I don't even care. I don't even care. Because I still have two, two of them out on the field. And then time for Ragnaros. Kaboom. So now, he's got to kill me. I can do... I can give four attack to something too so if he doesn't kill all of my minions which that's not gonna help you buddy in fact you're dead you're still dead I don't think you understand how dead you are he's gonna probably trade this which is smart unfortunately he's still dead oh he's not dead because this isn't a guaranteed thing but I do have nine mana which I can do five damage to him bring him down to seven then I can do six then I can kill him. Oh, I can't kill him this turn. Dang it! But I'm so close. What to do? Let's go ahead and starfire him, because I want to. Oh, that's really not what I wanted. Dang it! <laughs> so how much damage can he do? He can do six... Okay, so he can do 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He can do 15 damage right now. So I've got to stop this right this moment. Oh, but I can give him plus 4 health and taunt. <laughs> Let's do it. Thanks, Ragnaros. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Kill all your minions. Go for it. Have fun with that. You call that a <laughs> He's still only going to do eight. I don't care. You drop everything, man. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so trade that. Trade that. Less targets for me to for me to for me to kill. Uh, yes. So here's a starfall and then a wrath. I can starfall to do five damage to one, and then wrath another, and then I can kill it. Actually, I think I can kill kill him out right now. Boom. Ragnaros wins. Wins. <laughs> oh, yes, Ragnaros. What I did there is obviously I just cleared the board so that Ragnaros had to hit him. That's awesome. Sorry, Obvious. That's a good name, though. Obvious. It was an obvious choice to pull out Ragnaros at that time. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I almost want to play one more. That was a pretty quick one. Let's do one more. This is the highest I've gotten in Arena so far. So let's do one more just to see if we can get even higher. Hooray! Ragnaros wins again. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Let's see. Can we pull out one more win? One more win. We can do it. Dr. Freebird. Dr. Freebird the Paladin. Alright, Lepernome, absolute perfect choice for going first. Let's go ahead and drop these and see if we can get some better stuff. Ancient Watcher is terrible, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it so I can have a really good one drop and then a decent two drop. And there's an even better two drop. There we go. Lepernome. That's greetings. My greetings. My greetings. Well see if I can. Met. Well met! So, let's see, am I, am I pretty good Pretty good at imitating those voices? I don't really know. Do let's see. Oh, there's a priestess. Well, that priestess is dead. And in fact, she did so bad. Oh, and I got a spooze. Awesome. I'll just take two damage. Thanks. Perfect. So, Leopard Gnome's still out. He's got... He should not have dropped that young priestess, that honestly. Yeah. yeah, I think he's realizing it now. So there's the Bloodfriend Raptor. Now I'm easily going to trade that out. Oh, and there's a Ragnaros. Man, Ragnaros, I love you so much. I love you. I want to have your babies. Let's go ahead and trade these out and then drop my own Raptor. So there we go. Now I'm, now he's much lower in health than me. Granted, Paladins have quite a bit of healing, so he could easily heal that up. I did not bring any healing. I'm almost certain that I did not grab any healing touches or any crap like that because it's 
totally useless. Hate wasting that crap. Uh, I'm not a fan of healing cards in general. Uh, the the priest healing is awesome because it's not a card; it's an, a, a hero power. But the rest of them is just like meh. Healing's dumb. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay, so that's pretty decent. I could wrath that, and then I can t do three damage. Either way, I'm going to take three damage. But I kind of like that idea because I can keep my raptor out one more turn. Let's go ahead and deal one damage to it. Nothing good enough. I'll just go ahead and trade it out. There we go. Perfect. So I'm keeping I'm keeping the damage down. I'm keep, keeping him um, on the ropes as far as damage goes. Next turn, let's see what do I have. I have a dragon mechanic, or I can drop the swampoos and the ancient watcher, or I can save those for when I get a questing adventurer or when he gets a weapon. So right now I'm pretty happy with my hand. He's got six cards. He has not used the coin yet. So he could easily pull out a big minion here, or like a sort of a sort of justice is three. Oh, there's the coin. Now he's used the coin. What does he got? Demolisher. Okay. Not, not thinking that. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. That was smart of him. Still not going to be good enough though. Okay, so this this turn, I can drop the ancient watcher. I can drop this this. I absolutely want to kill that, but I want to kill it as efficiently as possible. Unfortunately, I can't really kill it that efficiently, so let's go ahead and pop it. Take no damage. Pop this thing. Do three damage. And then, do I want to drop an Ancient Watcher? Yeah, let's just drop an Ancient Watcher. There's no reason not to. Okay, I take two. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So next turn... That demolisher is dead. Unless he starts pulling out craziness. Oh, that sucks. So now the demol demolisher is not dead. And he's going to start doing damage to me. Do one damage, sure, go ahead. Have fun. Let's see if I can get this guy up to a taunt next turn. Soul of the forest. That's not what I want. Okay, so he's dead either way. Definitely killing that thing, though. Um, okay, then let's drop a dragon mechanic. Okay, so I am really low on health. How did I get so low on health? Man. He's he's higher on health than me. Probably because I'm killing myself here. Oh, because he attacked me there. Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts. Stop it. Stop the pain. Okay, so this is really not looking good to me. Okay, I can soul the forest. I can... Power everything up. It doesn't leave, doesn't look like he's pulling out any minions. I can power the for a uh, soul of the forest and power of the wild, which kind of I like that move because then I can drop the panther, then I can soul the forest, then I can start trading crap out. So let's go ahead and trade this. I I can't kill that, but I want to trade these two for these two. So let's go ahead and trade that. Trade that. Now I've got ginormous things in the on the field. Um, I need Ragnaros out next turn. I really want to get Ragnaros out next turn. I can kill this thing easily with what I have on the field, and I still have um, I'm still gonna have these treants out, which will be nice. What does he got? Okay, so there's there's a Wind Fury. I don't like that. I really don't like that. But I can kill it this turn. Not a big deal. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. Absolutely. I don't even care. I'm not going to use Mark of Nature. I'm going to drop Ragnaros. By fire be purged. Boom! Alright, so now he can do one damage to me. And I don't know what he can do for eight mana. I know he can do all kinds of crap. He could have a lay on hands. I think that's eight mana, maybe nine mana? Which heals him a whole bunch and makes him draw like a million cards. Divine Favor won't help. Divine Favor, I think, is the one that draws up to your opponent's cards, which is totally useless at this point. Let me think. I absolutely want to kill his minions. I want him to just die. I want him to die a horrible, horrible death. So, this turn, next turn, I'm going to market nature this guy and give him huge health. So he's going to, what, 
Wrath me. Okay. Hammer Wrath me. I really don't think that's going to be enough to kill him. Okay, so there we go. So I need a taunt, and I think I can kill him. I think I can kill him this turn by doing this, doing this. First, absolutely want to drop this. Give him that taunt. So now he's got a huge taunt. Um, I can Boulder Fist Ogre, or I can do this. I want to trade this, because I, don't want, I want less targets. In fact, I want to get rid of this just so that I have even less targets. Boom. For the wild. Boom, eight more damage. So now he's dead next turn unless he gets some craziness. What does he got? Do I win again? This is the turn. He has to do eight damage to me. I'm thinking he could pull out an Avenging Wrath, but that's there's no way that it's going to get through all this crap. I think I've won. Well played. Hmm. Well played. Hmm. Well played. Oh, there's the Avenging Wrath. Just like I said, there's no way. There's no way that's going to kill me. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Yeah. That was that was too much RNG. There's no way it was going to get through. He's going to restore 8 health, which is not enough. He's dead. Or is he? Okay, so I can't straight up kill him. I have to actually... Well, yes I can. What am I thinking? There we go. There's the Ragnaros, and Ragnaros wins it for me again! Whew. Way to go, Ragnaros. Alright. That's a great that's a great stopping point. I am now at 6-1 or yeah, 6-1. Yes. So awesome. Thank you Ragnaros. I cannot believe how good Ragnaros is. It's just it's just ridiculous how good Ragnaros is. Uh, I'm liking this deck in general though. I didn't get the questing adventure that last game or two, but uh, he's definitely helped me out a lot. I'm liking these Mark of the Wilds and everything with the um with the Ancient Watcher. That works out really well. The Mark of the Wild and Ancient Watcher or uh, Mark of Nature and Ancient Watcher. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Gotta say. So we'll go ahead and uh, stop the video for now, and we'll come back later and finish off the series, finish off the Druid series, and maybe pick up the next next one wherever we uh, start. Uh, but let's go ahead and end it here. So please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz to this video if you like the series. And, as always, you keep it saucy, Internet.